you guys ever thought about music, when you listen to it, you can hear a subtle beat in the back? Well, today I have an example for you guys. I want you to follow along with something. That either be tap your hand on the desk or tap your foot, all right? I want everybody to do it. So it's a measure of four beats of 120, and I'll increase the speed as it goes on. So a couple of you are off, but as it speeds up, see if you guys can catch it. story that I have for you guys is I have beat deafness so with me and I play an instrument when I am in practice at home listening to music wherever I am I always try to tap along with the song and a song changes its beats tempo as it's known throughout the song and each song is completely different the four beats that I just showed you guys are the most common in songs that you listen to today, classics, different genres even, R&B, rap. They all go by four measures. And the point of that was when I listen to music, I tap along with it. I move my hand, my foot, my head to the beat. Am I, never, am I on time? No. I'm always a little off, a little before, but I'm never on time. And so McGill University did a study to test one co uh, Canadian graduate student versus a hundred general people. They did different genres of music to the two groups of people, to the one student versus a hundred people. The wall, 100 people, we're able to keep up in sync with every song. It took them a second to all get in sync, but once 30 seconds through the song, everybody was on time with it. While the Canadian graduate student was not able at any point in time to hit a single beat. And that's what I experience every day listening to music, playing it. This past Friday, I had a concert. And we played in front of people at, uh, at a prom. And I noticed with one of my songs, Phil Collins, I was never on time. And that threw the entire song, the feeling of the crowd, way off. Because me personally, I messed up, and it threw my entire band, my group off, of that one song. And when I noticed that playing, I got so disappointed, sad in myself, feeling that I should never play an instrument again. Because I realized playing and listening are two different things. You can play one, but you have to be on time. You can listen to one, but you don't have to be on time. It, listening is for your own enjoyment. Playing is for others to enjoy as well. So playing that, and me failing to be on time with that killed my self-esteem in that, in a sense that I did not want to play an instrument any longer. With that being said, think about this. Next time you pick up an instrument, listen to music, keep in mind that everybody will not always be on time, but a majority of you always will be. Four percent of the world 
has beat deafness. That is 280 million, 280 million people that have it. Between the United States and Western Europe are the two biggest places with beat deafness in Central, all compact together inside of a population. That's a lot of people, but 4% is a small portion of the world. There's billions of people in the world. I don't know the exact number of billion, but it's a lot of people. 4% is a small amount. So, in reality, think about this. If you listen to music, think about the people that won't ever be on time. Thank you.